Hello, simply exploring and adventuring. And today I'm coming to you from here from Oregon Dairy for the Oregon Dairy 19th Annual Country Cruise. And we're gonna see all these beautiful cars. So join me here. So we're going to start right here, this part of the row. There's cars still coming in, so it'll be a while to, as we see more and more cars coming. Beautiful stingray. Look at this thing. 69. So it, it's as old as me. <laughs> and then we got a newer Mustang. Chevy Chevelle. Let's see what year is this. 1970. And of course, my favorite of all the classic cars. It's the 1968 Mustang. And I'm going to have to start again. Because, I mean, I'm going to return again because I want to get all the pictures of all the cars. And like I said, the cars are still rolling in. I'm not sure where they're going to put a lot of these other cars. Let's see if I can get... Well, like I said, I'm going to try to talk over it as much as I can. That music, if not, I don't know what I'm going to do. Might have to do. Might have to do a voiceover or something later. I'm sure this is either 30s or 40s. We'll see what it is. It is a 37. 774 Tudor sedan. And we have nineteen thirty six Chevy. Beautiful. So a lot of these cars probably are local, but some of them travel far away too. This is a 1936. Chevy Coupe. Like Corvette. Corvette is a 2007. Uh, 1954 Chevy 3100.
Oh, nice. I don't know if I told you last week, you know, I was in the scope game. Oh, yeah? Sixty seven GMC CS fifteen hundred. Again, my favorite of all the cars. I want to make a few announcements. I know there's a whole bunch of you guys eating breakfast, um, but I uh, want to make sure everyone gets registered down the Oregon Dairy tent. If you look at the bottom of the hill, it's the red and white tent. Uh, get registered there, and that money goes to the West Earl Fire Company. Uh, listen, there's a lot of things that they need, and they need help uh, being able to run the fire engines and everything going on over there. So we appreciate all the donations. If you want to give extra donations, we have a boot down there. Uh, if you guys would like to donate to the West Earl Fire Company, they would highly appreciate it. So we thank everyone coming out today. And um, also up here, top of the hill to my left, it would be your right. We have the Hospice Mustang. You can buy tickets to win that Mustang and that will be uh, drawn over Labor Day. Um, so you guys can come on up here and visit the nice lady sitting on, underneath the umbrella. She would love to uh, sell you tickets to win that beautiful brand new Mustang. And um, also down at the bottom there, we have Texas Roadhouse. Uh, go down there and spin the wheel, win some prizes. They have a whole bunch of fun things. Um, so check out Texas Roadhouse. They are one of our sponsors, and we appreciate them for donating to the uh, West Earl Fire Company. And uh, we'd also like to thank Hers Goods Chips, Utz, uh, Bimbo Bakery, and Texas Roadhouse. We couldn't do what we do here and give away the door prizes like we do without them. Um, also, we would like you guys to fill out your uh, registration form and the participation choice. It's important. Everyone that brought a car here today should have got a little form. You can fill it out, pick out your favorite two cars, and 1130, we're going to announce the winners. So make sure you turn it in down at the Oregon Dairy tent. We have a little red bucket down there. Fill that form out and put that in there. Um, if you guys are hungry, we have the restaurant open. Come on in there. And uh, at starting at 10 o'clock, from 10 to 2, we have a Wagyu burger bash underneath the carport so come on up there they'll be uh, having some uh, wonderful hamburgers they taste awesome if you guys get hungry for lunch uh, they will be firing up the grills at 10 o'clock and you can buy uh, chips and drink and a good wagyu beef hamburger if no one knows what wagyu is you come see dan the meat man and he'll tell you what it is um we also have um, going on from 10 to 11, uh, breakfast is served in the restaurant. So we have two door prizes um, that we drew down there and we are giving away. So Michelle Becker from Mount Joy, car number 99, you get a door prize. Michelle Becker from Mount Joy, car number 99, you get a door prize. Go down. Uh, take your ID to the tent and you, we will give you a door prize. Also, Stan Eby or Ebby from Lancaster, car number 213. You get a door prize as well. So, you guys can come claim those prizes. Michelle Becker and Stan Eby. Um, and we just want to thank the band for coming out today. They are doing a wonderful job playing some beautiful music. Um, so just enjoy this beautiful day. The car show goes until noon. Um, the firemen will be going around to pick out a fireman's choice award, and we will announce them around 1130. 
Um, so you guys just have a great day. Talk, enjoy. Has a rare Ford. Three two barrels. It's a 1970 Boss 302. There's a history of the car, but I'm not going to look at it right now at this moment. Wow. This thing looks like a newer picker truck, but it's not. Scottsdale. 85 Scottsdale. Oh, beautiful. Fifty-six Ford Thunderbird. Sixty-nine Chevelle. Hasn't been painted yet. Six hundred CC manufactured in England. 
And right here, they are raffling off this this vehicle to 2023 Mustang. This is, I guess, an annual car show. And we're here to so tickets are ten bucks a piece, or three for twenty-five, or seven for fifty dollars. The drawing will be on Labor Day at the Solanco Fairgrounds, and you need not be present. Oh wow! Look at this thing. Auto car. Museum quality piece. Carrying a modern Cadillac. <laughs> I'm sure they just swapped the cars. There had to be something else on this thing. So now we're going to go down the next lane. So we're, they're going to move this vehicle so that he can uh, go in the slot here. Good morning, everyone. Beautiful. Another 3100. So the show is free unless you're actually entering your car. Then it's ten dollars for your car. And if you don't know what this is that's pulling in right now. Go back to the 80s, and although it's not an actual kit car, but it was what the kit car from Knight Rider was based off of. Sweet. So a lot of cars are coming in slowly but surely, so we'll be seeing even newer, more, not newer, I mean they're old, classic cars, but we'll be seeing newer classic cars moving, showing up. That is sweet, look at this thing. Has a car engine in it. Sixty-eight Mercury Cougar. Sweet. Funny, my uncle, my my uncle used to have a seventy or seventy-one. Perfect. <laughs> Love this plate. So it's another 80s Camaro. Chevy Nova. Said, slow down, I see spots Back in the day. 
Sweet. Nice. Yeah, not many people can take the wiring out of the door and they rewire the whole car. She's right. She's right. You know, well, it's for other stuff that you might have. Yeah. 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 So that's a uh, 1934 Chevy Standard. And pretty much the uh, vehicle O.J. Simpson make, <laughs> made famous. Chevy Bronco. And it's for sale. So if you're interested in a... What year is it? <laughs> Can't see it. 86. Okay. So if you're interested in a 1986 Chevy Bronco, contact the owner. Oh, wow. Charger. Never seen, I haven't seen one this old in a, quite a while. 1967 Dodge Charger. Wow. Beautiful. I don't know you about you, but a lot of these cars are, are sexy for their age. So this is a 1954 Hudson Jetliner. Never seen one. I don't think I've even seen one in the uh, in the museums yet. But I and look, it even has its no, nope, is it its original paperwork? Oh, its original title. Someone from Hershey and some of the specs. Wow. So it was two thousand dollars for the top for the top of the line. Wow. There's another thirty one hundred. Sweet. Seventy four Barracuda. Oh, wow. He has a book showing the restoration process to its current condition. Oh, wow. What is it? Coronet? Yeah. So this is a 67 Dodge Coronet. Needs a little work on the one fender, but I'm sure it's a restoration in progress as well. But nevertheless, you don't see a lot of these on the road as much anymore. Firebird 67. Sixty-four Chevy Corvette. Newer Mustang. Probably nineties. 
It doesn't have the information on it. Z28. Oh, it does have the information. It just has it on the dash. So it's uh, actually I was wrong. It's a 2002 Mustang. And then right here is a 73 Chevy Camaro Z28. Get the uh, Z28 logo. Mm. Another Mustang. Oh, wow. There's, <laughs> I didn't realize they're all lighting up in different places. So we're going to be walking around. This is going on from 8 to 12 this afternoon. So Four hours to enjoy the, the beauty of these cars and the work that goes into getting them to this level right here charger 70 1970 oh wow look at that beauty Nineteen thirty seven Packard one twenty C touring sedan. See what year it is. Sixty-four and a half. 
Run around the mountain. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's 1953. Something wagon. Chevy wagon. Sheesh, look at this thing. Nice. All the beautiful gauges. So this car show is only 19 years old now. It's a newer one. But the quality of the cars. As you can see, that's a 2017 Mustang Shelby GT350. An award winner, apparently. That's a car, truck, and bike show. So there's all the specs on this. But we have a 69 AMC Rambler. It wasn't the Dodge Rambler yet until Dodge acquired the AMC later on. This is a 1956 Pontiac Chieftain. Another car I haven't seen too much of. Hey, good oh, morning, sweet. everyone. Welcome to Oregon Dairy, and welcome to the car show here on this beautiful Saturday morning uh, Memorial Day weekend. Thank you everyone for coming out today. So far, uh, for those of you first time here, welcome. For those of you that have been here numerous times to the Oregon Dairy Car Show, welcome back. We highly appreciate it here. And uh, if you guys look down at the bottom of the hill, you will see a white Oregon Dairy van and a red and white tent for Oregon Dairy. Uh, please register there. Uh, all proceeds go to the West Earl Township uh, Firefighter Company. So yeah, this is changed. a fundraiser for them. All the proceeds go to them. Uh, we also have a boot drive going on. So we appreciate any of the donations you guys might be willing to give to the West Earl Fire Company. We highly appreciate it. Um, there is breakfast inside of the restaurant. It is going to be a full house today, so uh, we appreciate everyone coming out to support Oregon Dairy and mainly to support West Earl Fire Company. Uh, we will be doing uh, Fireman's Choice later today. Uh, we will be giving away some uh, prizes and uh, just have fun, chat it up, and uh, just enjoy some music. The uh, band is going to get started here. Their name is Forgiven, and we appreciate them coming out today to play some uh, groovy music and I, and I hope everyone has a great day and if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out to the people in the Oregon Dairy staff t-shirts we would love to help you out or the firefighters out of volunteering we can find an answer for you so again appreciate everyone coming out today and I hope everyone has a great day and we're going to be here till about noon or 12 30 um, when we wrap up but uh, just enjoy this beautiful day that the good lord gave us so thanks guys have a great day and uh Enjoy the music. 67 Chevy Nova SS.
Yep, 2001. Oh, is it a boss? Or a fastback? 72. This land is my land from California. 1979 Chevy the C10. From the I'm telling you this land. Oh, an AMX. As I was walking, it's an AMX. AMCM AMX. I saw a lovely man in the sky. This was a uh, collaboration, I believe, between Lernal and eventually what would be called Dodge Plymouth down the road. So Lily's Willie 77. Nineteen twenty two Ford. Five window. The color. Sixty-eight. Two thousand and nine CT CTSV. Okay, so it's a Cadillac CTSV. Mustang GT, two Mustang GTs. This one is a 2014. Oh, it's the bullet. Cool. This is the newest rendition of the tribute car, basically, to the bullet from the 1960s. Steve McQueen was featured in and they have a video of the original with the original bullet the 2001 bullet edition so this is a GTCS what year 2007 Mustang GTCS
This is an 80s, I bet you. Yep, 89 Ford Mustang GT. Big difference. This lady is a camera. This lady is They don't have the information, but it's a Buick Skylark. Oh, by the Fiery Stang, late, early 60s, maybe late 60s, early 70s. Six Chevy Chevelle Super Sport. Shows you the original sticker price. Two as the original. So is purchasing Ontario. Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. So it's a General Motors products of Canada, Canadian made. It has the beautiful Super Sport badge. An original 396 sure. Sure. Camaro Z28 I'm going to go sit. I'm going to go sit. So it is a 57, but they have the tail fin, I believe. But it is a four door. I've actually, never actually seen a four door version. I've seen most of the two door, which is what everybody is high, highly prized, and it is a Bel Air with the shark fin, like I said. Being sang. Awesome. Four door Nova. Seen these, a lot of these when I was growing up. But everybody wants the two door version. This is a 72. Four door. But it has a beautiful sparkly metallic flake paint job on it. It's hard to see it. Wow. Beautiful. Gorgeous. It's a Plymouth. Yep. Plymouth Special Deluxe.
and there are more cars in, in the lower lot here as well, but we'll check those out once we're done with this part of the lot. Over, I mean, this part of the grassy area. There are more and more cars showing up little by little. Beautiful. So this is a 1958 Automobile Super 88. Never seen one. Never seen this car at all. This is my first time seeing this at all. Wow. Oh wow, I thought it was green, but it's like a really dark, I mean, I thought it was black, but it's like a really dark green. Yeah, it's a Super 88 right there. Let's see if I can get a good angle here where you can see the 88. Nineteen thirty four Model A. Oh, wow. This is a nineteen forty one Willie's Cruiser. Nineteen forty one Willie's Cruiser. Showing a, an old Ram. This is nineteen fifty five Dodge pickup truck here, but I'm trying to see what year. I mean, what, what does it say? It says something, but I can't see it under the, wipe, the windshield wiper. So it is a pickup truck. Beautiful pickup truck. Right here. It's Daddy O. This is a 1934 Chevy sedan. Kind of what you think of when you think of a gangster car, kind of, in a way. Uh, 1957, 3100 Chevy. Okay. So, is it a Miata? Yeah, it's a Miata. Miata. I didn't know they were still making the Miatas. This is a 2018 Miata. Nice. And this is a Buick. Bu Buick Riata. Wow. I haven't seen this before. This is a 1990 Buick Riata convertible. Come to, it, come to think of it, I do remember this car now. But it's kind of like rare now almost. You don't see them too much. And here's a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. This is what most people more sought after than the four door version. Wow, how beautiful. Two tone. 56. 
dodge. Custom. What does it say? Custom Royale. In there. Pretty penny inside this car right now, I'm sure. Oh, there's the. I didn't notice he had the sign down in the bottom. Sitting by the. Thirty-four Ford Coupe. Yeah, I saw this truck when I was coming in. It was right in front of me. Twenty twenty Shelby four by four pickup truck. Carol Shelby will be proud that his name is on a pickup truck. 1973 Plymouth Road Runner. So they're coming from all over the area, all over the state as well. These folks are from Shippensburg. Beep, beep. Hmm. 